guys, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the farm. In today's episode, we are going to be fixing the Yamaha UTV. First order on the list is to wash everything down so that we can proceed to install some more modifications on this UTV. Alright, first step is done. It's semi-clean now. We just cleaned it because we have a wrap for the whole UTV. Genius me. My seat's now wet. Ooh. Yep, really wet. Alright, now the washing is done, we're just going to towel dry this whole thing, but let me give you a brief overview of what we're going to do with the Yamaha YXC 1000R manual sequential UTV. That's a mouthful. In today's episode, we are going to be completing a engine oil service for the UTV because we actually hit the 12R break-in period required already, although I didn't really follow the break-in procedures properly because I was flooring it under the 6 or 7R mark already because I couldn't help myself. Also, we'll be wrapping the UTV in a new livery. We have a livery from the UK which arrived and I'm excited to put that on, but that's gonna be one of the final steps because we need to install a sound bar. I'm gonna complete the wiring for the winch as well. One last thing, we're gonna be painting the wheels black. Okay, let's start off with the fun part of this installation, which is going to be this sound bar. Alright, I have decided we are going to be mounting the sound bar here, which means I need to take this bar off. We're going to be removing the wheels already so that we can clean them so when Stru gets here, he can paint them for us. We're going to take a short break. Wilson brought the bar back but we need to charge the batteries and we're going to go kiteboarding for a bit. Next up, we are gonna do the wrap. Is it too shampoo -y? No, it's good. I would've made a mistake otherwise. All right, so Struz actually bolted down one wheel already. He's doing the other side. He started on the wrap on top. I'm gonna start on the fender flares. Drew's doing some good progress. Sort of. It's not really a line. <laughs> Already looks so good with the black wheels. We're gonna spray the lugs also. I just put the fender flares on. Um, I didn't finalize the bolts in case the wrap needs to go underneath. Rear fender flares on, along with this corner piece right here. 
and had to repair this because it broke again. Right now I won't film this but I'm going to fix the other side and just uh, heat gun the rest of the wrap just to stick it on properly. Okay, we're gonna mount the stereo first and brought the wire come down through here so we can connect. And then we're gonna figure out the winch wiring next. in the main tower. Turn it on. Speaker on. actually added a cup holder here too which actually doubles as holding my cell phone and it has these cute pockets this is the wiring that we're working with we wired in the winch already and the radio so that's all good I just need to cut this boot so I can bring the strap or sorry bring the insulator down lower so we ran the wiring straight down there I'm gonna mount this module I think over here and then we're gonna run the other wires straight down to the winch, which is over here. And I decided to use the switch panel. We're gonna be putting the winch switch here and then the winch remote switch extender here. So this looks very neat and I decided to use it even though we're gonna lose this little cubby hole. For now, we're going to finalize this mount this. I gotta drill a hole in the cubby hole there so that I can run the wires through and through. We're also gonna punch a hole here so that we can mount this there. And we are going to put the switch in already so that we can wire it all up. This is exactly where we're going to tee it into again and just clean up all the wiring after. Alright, everything seems to be wired in. We're going to hit the ignition and see if the switch works. So this is going out. Handheld controller so that we can operate it from outside the vehicle and see up in front what's it look like. Okay, here we are in the winch and we gotta bring it out. I just unhooked that so there's some weight. 
And do it again. Bring it out. And then bring it in. Now that everything is working, I'm just gonna tidy all this up. Return all the panels, screw on the new panel, and fix all the center console. So I think we're gonna proceed to changing the oil, which means we have to drop the panel down here, remove the oil cover there, start it up to warm up the oil, drain it all down, replace the filter, and then top up the new oil. Should be fairly quick. One more adjustment we're gonna do. Thank you to Rodney Sessions who replied to my video and he was saying that he's owned two of the YXZs and he wants me to drop the PSI of the tires to 10 PSI and then turn the shocks to all the way soft which is uh, 17 mm. So we're gonna turn the shocks down which means adjusting these valves here for the front. It's over here and we're gonna drop it down all the way so that we can get more, I guess, yeah, just a softer ride in general. 17. All the way down. On the top side, I just removed the cover here. This is where we're going to fill our oil. Okay, our oil filter is down there, which means the lower sump guard cover has to come out. While the bottom is draining, I have taken out the new filter, I have oiled the ring and now we're gonna pre-fill it so that there's oil in the filter already. Just like that. Now I have to remove the oil filter, I don't know if this will work, we'll figure it out. Installing the new crush washers included in the kit. My hands are super oily already, so I don't know how I'm gonna film the rest of this, but we're gonna return the plugs. There's a torque spec for this, I think it's 12 pounds, but I'm just gonna line up the marks. Next, I'm gonna get underneath again and replace the filter and the drain screw. We're now gonna proceed to fill in 2.85 quarts, so... We already used some for the oil filter and we're just gonna dump the rest. I heard from another YouTuber that when they cranked it, it sounds super weird. I'm so exhausted, I just finished buttoning up the lower pans and I actually had to add some screws because I noticed I was missing some screws. I didn't see any screws that I dropped, so hoping everything's okay. Um, I did check the oil level, although I'm not sure if it's the right amount. I will take a short test drive to visit the horses right now and find out if everything is working.
car has to be the coolest upgrade with the lights. <laughs> Today I'm going to be finishing the wrap and just doing a heat gun pass on everything, trying to remove the bubbles. I brought a pin also to remove the air pockets in the wrap and then after that we're going to park it again in the sun and hopefully bake the rest of the wrap so that it can really adhere onto the body. I honestly have been trying to finish the UTV but I've had so much distractions because of other projects but we ended up putting on these knee guards. So both sides have knee guards now and I'm actually gonna contemplate installing this rear view mirror. We're gonna let the UTV bake under the sun for a few more hours and then maybe this afternoon we can do some b-roll so we can wrap this vlog up. I've been meaning to finish the UTV video, so what better way than to test the GoPro Hero 10 Black and show you guys all the things that I've done to the UTV and finally go for a rip. Now the racetrack isn't so clean, so I don't know what to expect, but right now, here it is. We got the full on Red Bull wrap. I've installed and wired up the winch, side mirror, sound bar, uh, rear view mirror, sorry, some fender flares. Strew helped me paint the wheels black. And we got the GoPro mount over here.